This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Having already won the Diamond League 200 meter title last week with a new national record clocking of 21.88, Shawnee Miller Weibo going after the 400 meter title today in Brussels, and she did just that, clocking a world leading time of 49.46. That was just off her personal best of 49.44. A number of tough questions asked at this week's B3's media luncheon. One had to do with the size of the contingent at this year's World Championships, which included for the first time two co-managers and an assistant manager. We brought it to the executive body. We voted. This is a new administration. This is something new we, that we tried. I don't see um, where the addition of having three managers was a detriment at this games. Also at the media luncheon, B3A's boss, Rose Carey, indicated that they are in the process of filling the position of chief executive officer. As we speak, our recruitment exercise is ongoing to select a suitably qualified individual with appropriate business acumen and skill set to fill the role as a full-time staff of the Federation. It is our hope that this candidate is, will be selected by, for the position by November of this year so as to provide valuable assistance in planning the activities for the 2018 athletic season. We believe that the role of the CEO is vital in moving the Federation forward to being a viable business entity. Sprinter Terry Smith now focused on his professional career. His training base will be in Jamaica. I'm tired of just coming here to just come here, like you know, to spend the Bahamas money and don't do nothing. So now I'm done with school, so I got time to relax and just focus on track. You know, and I won't have a long like indoor and outdoor season running from my college. Now I can really, you know, get to my full potential. So I'm looking forward to getting better. You know, so if I gotta make the sacrifices, do it. And I want to do that. I, I don't want to be, you know, average. I don't want to be, you know, just another number. So. Like I say, it's frustrating. Like, this is my what? Fourth national team? For like three years in a row. We don't make it. We don't make it. We don't make it. We come to these nas these championships and the guys, we, we don't even have, like, we don't run together, you know? So it's like these guys we're running against have been running each other like three times, four times for the year. So it's frustrating when you come out here and you, you got to learn how many steps to give him in like three days. So, but it's just something, it, it will get better. It will get better in the future. It just takes a little time. The Bahamas Olympic Committee doing its job in affording deserving Bahamians the opportunity to pursue sports courses abroad, but they have encountered some issues along the way. One of the problems that we, we, we have is that these courses, are, some of the courses, the really, really benefits from it are very long. Like you see the one that in the University of Budapest, they are three months. And you, it's difficult to find someone to leave their family for three months to go and do a course because when they can and, and not get not being paid, it add an extra burden to the family. We now working looking at the federate but the IOC and PASO putting the courses online so that the coaches can stay here and benefit from it. Another honor for John Quell Jones as she's been named to the ESPN All WNBA second team. Jones will go after another bit of history tonight in Phoenix as she is just 16 rebounds shy of breaking the single season rebounding record. With another game to go on Sunday against LA, that takes a bit of the pressure off. But there's even more at stake as Jones is in position to lead the league in both offensive and defensive rebounding percentage. And she would become just the second player to accomplish that feat. In addition to that, Jones also on pace to break the overall rebounding percentage as well. So a lot to play for in these last two regular season games. From the minor league baseball diamond yesterday, Chavez Young 3 for 5, a double, an RBI, and 3 runs scored. Bluefield won big over Johnson City 12-1. Champ Short was 1 for 3 with a stolen base, 2 runs batted in, and a run scored in Binghamton's 6-3 win over Erie. Meantime, Lucius Fox going 0 for 4 with a run scored. Charlotte beat Bradenton 8-2.
The New Providence Softball Association on the diamond last night. And as Julian Gibson tells us, the Cats and Sharks went right down to the wire. Benson, look who's at the ballpark. Renee Sunshine Davis Curry. Boy, she dressed right up. Got on all of her clothes. A live cat also taking in some of the action. The Sunshine Auto Wildcats. Boy, they would outlast Stephen Bishop Benneby in eight innings. Eight to seven. The winning pitcher was Linda K. Knowles, who has been pitching from Coon Days. Mary here, I let her know without her. I still could do the job in spite of the senior citizen on the team. I still got it. But you got some more runs out. That really helped you too. Oh, yeah, man. Them girls know when I say let's go. This is the last time. Let's go. We got to win this game. Mary in here. Let them so we could win without Mary. It's not all about Mary. Then the K is still here. Offensively for the Wildcats. Boy, they simply kept clawing, kept clawing till they got the job done. It's a long game. We had intention of winning with everybody that we had. We had uh, a few key players missing, but we were destined and very much determined to do it. I'm proud of my teammates for hanging in there and hats off to the Sharks. Um, I'm very proud of my pitcher for throwing strikes and bearing down, and I'm very proud of the defense for executing. For the losing Sharks, manager Stephen Bishop Benneby, he was steaming hot. You're trying to make a move and the pitch upset because she want to challenge somebody. It don't work that way, man. This is a team effort. And we didn't play as a team tonight. I mean, we came back. We should have won the game. Then it came down to base running. We ran the bases down. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I'm Julian Gibson. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned. Check on weather still to come. <laughs>